Welcome to our Metamorphosis Month. I'm Lenny Stein. I'm the creator of the Gut Academy. I'm the chief fermenter at Fermenting for Life. And you can find all my freebies, my free stuff, on my online home at linnystein.com. So we've been talking about metamorphosis. It's been a metamorphosis month. For me, it's been rather a sad month. I lost a very dear friend to suicide. And I know a lot of people have asked me, why are you doing all this self-love? What's that got to do with fermentation? Well, it has a lot to do with it because, look, I've studied nutrition. I've sat there. I've, I've tried to change people with their food eating patterns. I've done workshops for many, many decades where I've met the most beautiful people and I've formed the most wonderful friendships. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what we eat. There's no good or bad food. I'm all into intuitive eating. And really, what's it got to do with it? It has a lot to do with it. So I put together a nice little journal and it's there for you that you can download for free. And I've got all this help from a lot of people. And I talk about how, it, it, you know, we know that science has jumped on board and they, they even agree that you know, it produces the happy hormones, that serotonin, these all these fermented foods. That's what they do. And you know, we talk about the happy gut, happy healthy gut, happy mind, and happy you. But not necessarily because that mind is so very important. So in our manifesting journal, which I thank and I, I put all the thanks there to everyone that I've got all the messages from, so that we can help each other. It's it, it tells you how. You need to just take a step back and just allow yourself 10 minutes, 10 minutes in the morning, and that's how it'll all transform. So what do we do? Well, we, we get rid of our telephones. Telephones are a no-no, no-go in the, in, the, in the bedroom. We must get rid of them. You know, if you're sitting there checking emails in the middle of the night when you should be sleeping, not good. I'm playing YouTube videos, and I, I love YouTube music as well, but it's not good. So we need to get an alarm. And we need to set that alarm and we need to pop straight out. No snooze buttons. Then uh, it's a wonderful Mel Robbins. She does, she's made that beautiful book. It's a best-selling, she's a best-selling author and she's done plenty. But the, the five-second rule, we can take that from Mel. And you know, she says, go high-five the mirror. Tell yourself how wonderful you are. Tell yourself that you're loved. <laughs> then... Get your little journal and write down five things, just five things that you want to be, that you want to transform. That's the metamorphosis. But the big thing about it is not just writing them down. You have to believe. You have to believe that it's already happened. So that's what, that, if you read that little book, you'll see it all in there. Now, the big key to life is just one word. It doesn't matter whether it's the food that you eat, it's the food that you ferment. It's your relationships with yourself or your relationships in general. This, you know what the answer is? It's the answer to life. Just one word. It's consistency, which is a habit. And somebody else wrote a lovely book and it's called 2190. 21 days to create a habit, 90 days to make it a lifestyle. So that's what consistency is. It's a habit. And that's what everything is. So we have to make that habit of writing that down. And next month, we're going to go into Miracle Mornings. And we're going to really get into it so that we can do it all together. It'll have a lot of food, but it'll have a lot there to help each other. Because if I can help just one person, that'll be wonderful. Look at those beautiful little babies. You see, they need consistency. These are your milk kappa or toothia, however you want to pronounce it. Mine are named Tilly. You give them a name. Tilly was my grandma, Matilda Augustus Bowen. My beautiful grandma, she's the one who set me on the path to fermenting. So little Tilly's babies have been shared all around the world. It's just so beautiful. Um, the consistency with them, if you don't, if you don't feed them milk, they just die. 
because that's their food. They eat the sugar out of that milk. How beautiful is that, that they just keep on reproducing. And if you keep feeding them, you can share them. You can share them with, with your friends. You can share them with your family. Now, talking about sharing, this month's also been where we eat together month. Where we get together, we, get, we gather a crowd of our friends and family and we celebrate. We turn off the telephones and we sit there and we celebrate food. And I'm doing it so that we can keep it simple, artful but simple. So I'm going to, so don't go away, come back, I'll be all, I'll get myself together and I'll pull my beautiful papaya bomb out of the, out of the oven because he's already there now and he's going to be our centerpiece. We're going to have a curry feast. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to combine your fermented foods with the fresh and the fermented and have a wonderful celebration. So I'll be back very shortly. Big love and bacteria.